guys, Dorothy here with Done by Dorothy. We are here today with a Done by Dorothy episode. Uh, our original, our very first episode we ever made, which was horrid, um, was for this. We've sort of upped the game a little bit. You know, you grow as you learn. Um, and you know, right now we are currently working on our Mirabella Nature Journal. And I'll put a link to that um, playlist for that if you're interested in that. And so I wanted to make some tissue paper so we could decorate our envelopes using the Mirabella things but obviously it's hard to find tissue paper that matches and I didn't really want to use napkins because this is very old the calligraphy and just the very just the illustrations themselves are just completely awesome so I wanted to find something that would match with that so we're gonna make our own tissue paper today and I'm gonna set these to the side and so, I'm actually going to supply the image file, um, so you're not going to have to buy it or whatever. I'm going to supply the image file. You can just download it like you do any of the other images you use for the journal, and you're just going to print it out. Um, so, I will go through the exact steps that we're going to do. You can use standard white tissue paper. I actually bought this. Oops, sorry about that. I actually bought this at... Hobby Lobby and their gift tissue it's $1.99 you get eight of them um, but they are 20 by 20 inches so I got um, let's see one two three full-size pages and then I have you know my little extra that I can just use for my plain text that you know I can stamp on and that kind of thing to use to decorate so but you get three full-size sheets so you get 24 sheets basically of whatever kind of tissue paper you print out for $1.99 if you use your, you know, 40% off coupon, 50% off, you know, if you catch it the right time, you know, you can get it for a little over a dollar, which isn't bad. You'll pay that at Dollar Tree for, you know, decorated tissue paper. If you're going to find something really, really pretty, you're going to pay a lot more, um, you know, like the Tim Holtz collage papers, that type of thing. So this, again, was from the brother-sister brand of gift tissue um, from Hobby Lobby. And I don't know, I'm going to hold it up if you can see. And this just has the text on it, and I just find it where you find, like, the cards and gift wrapping and all that stuff before you get into party supplies is where I found that. So, that's what I'm going to be using today. And with the calligraphy, I thought it really went. So, I just downloaded it. Um, I'll go through the process of how we do it in a second. This is what a raw sheet basically looks like after you get done printing it. Um, this hasn't been trimmed or anything, so you can see. And this normally wouldn't be here. This normally would be um, all solid white text. This was because I goofed up when I was putting it, feeding it through my printer. But I'm gonna try to show you, and I, you can see my hand under there. Now this is a thicker tissue paper, um, you know, but we will mod podge with it and everything in a sample before we get done. So it is absolutely gorgeous. And like I said, this image will be available for download and we're gonna use this on our envelopes. Um, I'm going to actually try it out on an index card so you can see because I want to save the envelopes for the tutorial. But So that's what it looks like beforehand. Let me set this to the side so we have it for... Then this is when it's trimmed down. So this is my 8.5 by 11 sheet. When I'm going to Mod Podge with it, especially if like I'm covering an envelope or something specific, I trim it down so all of the white part is gone because I don't want... You know, to have all this, especially because it does have a background to it. I don't know if you can see the tan color background to it. Um, you know, well, let me actually show you with a piece the difference in the coloring. So, you can see there is a big difference between, you know, that color and that. So you're going to notice the outside edge if it's all white it's going to stand out and you're going to have this bright line so i trim it down to avoid that so um and i'm going to start trying to you know when i do my journals have a you know with my freebies having an eight and a half by 11 tissue sheet that you can print on your own now some people are going i don't have tissue paper or you know that's way too much work for me you know, no way, not going to do it or whatever. That's fine. You can still print the tissue sheet out on regular paper. It's sort of a collage paper. And it comes out gorgeous. So, I mean, you know, you could use this for 
I actually think I'm going to use this and cut down the middle and use it for the insides of my cover because I just fell in love with it. So, you know, that's gorgeous. So let me set this to the side. I'm going to set my 8.5 by 11 to the side that I cut and I'm going to show you. You'll need cardstock. Um, I use, this is just 110 pounds, the basic cardstock. I don't use anything extravagant um, because, you know, you're going to put tape, you're going to tape it down and all that. So then I, what I do is I take my sheet, my big sheet, and I lay it down. Of course, you know, this is 20 by 20 when you start out and I sort of flatten it out, but it's okay because we'll get those out of there. And I just lay my paper in the corner and I cut roughly, I mean, I didn't even do this one specific, but you know, a half an inch to an inch around, it's not going to matter how much. I mean, you technically could do a quarter of an inch, um, you know, that's sort of up to you. And then I just use regular old tape. I don't use double sided. Um, and I'll tell you why, because when I use double sided and I went to pull the tissue paper up, it has a bigger tendency to rip and I don't want to risk losing any of my front. So got strings in there. So I just tape it down and I don't put it all the way across. I just two, two simple little pieces. And again, the, I really like using, um, oh, I think this is Walmart brand, but the matte finish and the invisible tape, it seems like it comes up a little better, easier. You can sort of get your thumbnail in there and get it up. So I tape it down like that. Make sure I'm in camera so you can see. And then I lay it down. I grab the end as I hold one in and sort of make sure that I pull it tight and flatten everything out. And while I'm holding the bottom, just sort of fold it over. Just like you're going to try to cover that piece up and then I'll just tape one end. And once that one end is taped, then you're pretty good to go because you can let it go. And then tape the other end. Okay. And I'm going to flip. I'm going to grab a couple pieces of tape, and once you've done this a couple times, you'll be able to move faster. And I just fold this all the way across, and I just grab this, and this is the first side, so you just sort of fold it over. I sort of, ah, I make sure that I put it in the corner so it sort of holds that corner down when it goes to the printer. I don't want it to get crazy. Fold this one down. And tape it and because most roll well most printers run on a roller system if you have the ends down it'll be okay if you are worried about it you know you can put that little piece in the middle and that doesn't really I've not done it and it doesn't affect too much anyway but you can do it if you want that security I mean some people are worried now this goes right through my printer extremely well um, if your printer will take cardstock then you're good to go because it doesn't make a whole lot more thickness. Um, one thing you do need to make sure that you're aware of, and that's why I had your printed sheet and an easy, if you want to do an easy test, I just take a mechanical pencil. Sorry, I've still got gold strings flying everywhere. I just take a mechanical pencil and I'll take a piece of cardstock and I'll mark it in the corner with a dot, just like that, just a teeny tiny little dot. I'll put it in my printer, the way I always load my paper, print it out. So I know this dot, when I put it in my printer, I make sure the dot is facing up. So like, you know, if I open my paper tray, I just slide it in like this with the dot facing up and I print. I want to make sure I know what side that I'm going to print on. Some people's printers will load straight in and it'll print on the front because it'll flip it around and bring it back. Some people's roll over, you know, I'm one that I have to put everything upside down and it rolls through a roller like this as it prints. So, you know, watch where your little dot is. If it comes out, you know, and it printed on the dot, then you know you need to put your paper face up. If it prints and it's not on the side with the dot, then you know you need to turn your paper face down. So like mine, I would load into the printer like this. Okay, so I'm going to pause you really fast. I'm gonna go run this through my printer so you can actually see it straight out of the printer. And you know, if it's a little wrinkled, it doesn't matter because 
It's a collage tissue paper. It will cover fine. I'll be right back. I'll run this through my printer and show you. Okay, we are back, and I finished printing out on the tissue paper. And remember, we wrapped it around, so that's what it looks like with the card behind it. So, I'm going to flip it over, and you can use your nails. You can use, you know, a little cutter if you wanted to. Um, let me try my, um, my little box cutter. And because I'm looking for it, it's not going to help. There it is. Just going to say that. You can use a box cutter if you want. And just slide it across there. If you want to take it off the easy way. Or you can peel it off. Um, you do have to be cautious if you're going to cut it. that You'll try to lay your tape in different spots. Because eventually that tape's going to build up as you're putting it through your printer. So... So, and most of the time, you can even take your cutter and just sort of bump up the corner. Which is what I usually do, because I want to reuse that paper. I don't want to, you know, waste any. So I just bump the corner up, and it just comes, if you take your box cutter, and, well, it's a little craft knife. It comes right up like that. Or you can use your fingernail and pull it up if... That's what you want. You can't, and if it tears like that, it doesn't matter because you're going to put it through the printer. So it's either A, going to have the paper over top of it, the tissue paper over top of it, or, you know, you're going to tape over top of it again, so it's not going to matter. It's going to be on the back. So let me... I'm going to make sure I'm up here under the camera, see? You can see, and I mean, you can pull that if it comes right across the edge. It doesn't matter because, you know, we print it on the front. I'm just trying to hurry. Normally, I try to pull all of the tape off so I can, you know, save every bit of that tissue paper because I can use those little scraps for collages and things like that, especially with the text behind it. But I'm going to hurry today so I don't take too long. Okay, so, oh, we got one in the middle. Is that the only one I have left? Yep. Okay, so, once we pull all the tape off, well, dag, nab it. There we go. Okay, there we go. Let's peel that off for right now. Okay, then what I do is I pull it off, and again, I put this, I reuse it multiple times. Okay, so I take it and I fold it out so I get it really nice and flat. And then what I do is I just take my scissors and trim that edge because, again, you know, if I'm collaging or whatnot, I don't want that white. I mean, because you can see how much of a difference that stands out. So, you know, if you're collaging and you've got this really awesome look going on, the last thing you want to do is have this big line of white paper stick up, sticking out in the middle of it. And like I said, all these little scraps you can keep and they're perfect for collages. And with, you know, being little pieces of tissue paper, you can use them in Mod Podge with them and all that kind of thing. So I just trim around it and I'm not even, I'm not worried about being straight if it's cut straight or anything because again, I'm going to mod podge with it. So and then I'll keep all my scraps. Let me put those at the side. So I have my piece of tissue paper, you know, that I can, let me grab one of my envelopes. You know, if I unfold one of my envelopes and this is a standard envelope, you know, it's. I turn it kind of corner like that I can fit that whole so I can literally collage the whole entire front of my envelope or you know I could flip it oh yeah or I could yeah I could flip it this way obviously I would collage on top if I collage on top I could collage the whole entire inside so it's decorated like this or you know 
do the top flap in here so it's decorated inside sort of cover the security up and then flip it over and then I could you know fussy cut around any of these images sorry about the truck and you know collage in the corner or whatever to decorate it and then you know ink it up and add all my pretty to it so just some ideas for that and again you can collage anything just like with tissue paper anything you want to use it on you know use it on furniture use it on whatever you want and you can see where it comes to the back but it does not which is why some of the lighter tissue papers will bleed through to the paper if you buy like Dollar Tree type tissue papers you know they'll come through the stuff from Hobby Lobby is pretty thick even if it comes through and it prints on here and you put your next sheet over top of it it doesn't because it dries on the paper it doesn't actually transfer even when it prints again so you don't have to worry about that so there is the tissue paper version now let me show you some other ideas this is our retro typing onion skin paper and you can hear it i love that sound i don't know if you can see my hand behind it so like here is the tissue paper you can see my hand moving this is the onion skin so you get pretty much this is more like a glassine and you sort of get that shiny look if you wanted a really good shiny on the front um check out nick the booksmith she has uh an awesome tutorial on making glassine i may end up doing one of those um you know you paint it with a a type of spray paint it i'm not gonna get into that right now that's a whole other tutorial um but yeah so you know that gives you some nice crisp sound here is on some lightweight vellum and again you can see through that really good and again you have you know a little bit more structure with that this is on a uh, 24 pound paper with a 96 brightness so I mean it prints out really good you know if you want to fussy cut around it or use it even as journal pages or you know as a pocket or you know whatever you want to use it for and a lot of times people are like oh well, you know this is on 20 pound 90 20 pound 20 pound paper with a 92 brightness this is your plain old copy paper i mean this is like from walmart it's like you know vl generic paper like the most generic and even that printed out really good and then of course we have our cardstock so you know the copy paper prints out just about like the cardstock just not as thick so you have you know a lighter weight to use where you have a heavy weight the 24 pound is you know you get the thick the thickness so it does you know look a little different from the regular copy paper i mean i'll hold them up side by side let me see if side by side i mean you can tell the difference you know that it does look a little different and again you know the cardstock it does have a difference it's you know more glossier you know this is more glossier because it's more a brighter paper but you know and then like your vellum almost gives you that watercolor effect so I mean it really looks like watercolor this gives you that real thin crisp feel you know and then you have your tissue paper when you know might have the text underneath so that adds a whole nother dimension to it I mean because if you look at that and that that text tissue paper really adds a second dimension to it and you know sort of brings it to life so we hope you enjoyed this tutorial um again if you have any questions you know make sure you know to um just ask in the comments um i will show you something that looks totally crazy because i did it on accident i was printing and i actually printed this the wrong way so you can tell where i was testing and i have two different printers and i did the wrong printer I actually printed this once and then I reloaded it into my printer not realizing it and printed over it a second time but in the opposite direction so like you see the pair in the pair you know here's a mushroom here's a mushroom snail snail so they're almost like you know cat a corner from each other but it printed so as it came through the second time it printed dots over the mushrooms and things like that and it, that doesn't look bad either if you want it if you want a more congested 
you know, a more busier type look. You know, I mean, you can tell how much busier it is. I mean, there's a lot more dots. I mean, there's just a lot more going on there. So, I mean, you can run it through twice if that's what you would like. Um, so, you know, there's another alternative. So, okay. Well, I will let you go. You guys have a nice day um thanks for tuning in again like comment subscribe hit the bell if you want to be notified uh, our facebook group is down below and there will be freebies and things like that in our facebook group um i will be as the future goes on in my etsy store and on my facebook group um doing some more like tissue paper layouts um i already have some uh like a vintage rose a solid rose pattern that's got a rose pattern um, you know, I do have some eight and a half by 11, uh, digitals in my Etsy store. Any of those can be done like this. Any eight and a half by 11 digital page can be turned into this. Um, you know, so if you have an old doily you scan at home, you can convert it into tissue paper. You know, you can do literally, it's endless. I mean, anything you can do there, anything that you can turn into a digital image, you can print on tissue paper and you know like this has text in the back you can use plain white you can use colors that's going to change it um you know if you get something that has flowers in the background you're going to have you know the underlying tone in the back so tons and tons of ideas you know if you stenciled underneath of a picture and then print it on top of it you know you're going to get a different layer that way versus if you print it and then stencil over top of it Cause, you know when you stencil over top of it and you ink it eventually some of those places that are really dark you're gonna fade and you're gonna lose that look you know if you stencil and then print on top of it it creates a whole different look so you know maybe one day we'll do a tutorial on the variety of ways that you can use you know the tissue paper to make your own tissue paper so I hope you enjoyed the video have a great day um, again like I said like comment subscribe and we'll see you next time this is Dorothy bye